Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we'll do a, a Christmas hymn, uh, Away in a Manger. Uh, we'll play it in the key of G, and uh, if you haven't done so, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll play it once and we'll break it down into parts. So let's break that down into parts. Okay, the first measure. Okay, you want to hold that G chord and the uh, second string, third fret. And then second string again with the bass note on the uh, sixth string here on the third fret. So it's. And then. Okay, second string, so uh, first fret. And the second string that's open, so it's okay. And then the next is also G, it's a uh... okay, so it's the sixth string still on the third fret, and then the second string is open, and the third string, second fret, and then third string open, so it's We go into the C. Okay, so hold the C chord, and we're going to hit the um, the fifth string and the third string. So it's okay, and then you're going to move that pinky to the fourth uh, fret on the fourth string. So it's. pinky so we're still playing that fourth string here on the C on the second fret okay so it's that C part is okay and then we go into the G okay so the G we're playing the sixth string and the fourth string together these are all quarter notes fifth string and then back to the fourth string so it's okay all right so next we're going to play the d7 uh, if you're playing with a band or a piano or another instrument you can just play without the bass note so it's uh, on the fourth string open second fret and then back to open since we're playing uh, just uh, by ourselves here we want to add a bass note and I like to play the G on this one so it's the third fret and the fourth string which is open and then the fourth string second fret and then fourth string open okay and then next we're still in that D7 and we'll still play that G and it's again the sixth string third fret and the fourth string open these are quarter notes now, so it's okay. So it's open uh, fourth fret, uh, fourth string, and the sixth string here, on the third fret, and then the second fret uh, on the third string, and then the fourth string, fourth fret. Okay, so the whole D7 part is. Uh, So on this part, we're going to hit the 6th string, the 3rd fret, and the 4th string on the 2nd fret. So on that G, we're going to move that middle finger down one, uh, one string to the 4th string, and together with the 6th, okay, and then open 4th, and then open 3rd. Okay, so it's... And then we're 
we're still in the G. Okay. All right, so the next fret there is a G. We're gonna hit the second string, which is open. These are quarter notes now. Okay. So it's uh, the second string and then the fourth string and then the second string on the third fret. Okay, so that G part goes Next is the same exact line as we played from the beginning, which is... C now. Back to the G. Okay. So up to that part, uh, it's the same, right? Now the ending part here is, the next measure is the D7. Now we're going to play the real D7 here. the D7 and hit the second string and the third string together and then the first and then the second string is open so lift up that index finger and then back to the third uh, string here so it's G is the open second string with the bass note on the sixth string, third fret. So it's open and then the third string, second fret, third string open, and then back to the C. Uh, we're gonna hold the C, but this time uh, move that middle finger on the second fret one string down to the third. So we're playing the fifth and the third, and then move that middle finger back up to the fourth string. Next, we're going to play the D7. So instead of playing here, we're going to just make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're going to just slide that C, right? Uh, two frets. Okay, so now we're playing the, the fifth fret on the uh, fourth, fifth string and the fourth fret on the fourth string. So we're just going to slide it from here. It's, so it's... Uh, So it's actually a C. We're just sliding it down two frets to make it a D. But we're not going to play the, the second string. We're only playing these two strings here, the fourth and the fifth. Okay, and then back to the G. Okay, so the G, we're playing third string and the sixth string here. So let's play that last measure from the D7. So. That's it, uh, very simple uh, song, and I hope that was helpful in any way, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.